The energy sector is uh, a national security issue for each and every participating state. And whether it's because uh, they have to increase energy efficiency or avoid environmental catastrophe or manage climate change, each country is faced with a, a set of tasks which is, uh, affects every citizen of the current generation and future generations. Let's take the oil and gas sector as an example. Um, it's an extractive industry. It requires digging into the ground. Um, it requires transporting oil and gas across uh, the country, across uh, national boundaries. And it always poses environmental risks. If those resources aren't managed properly and the revenues from those resources aren't used properly, then it can cause instability in any given country at any time, politically, economically. And so it's very important as part of the OSCE's mission to treat this as a security issue. What we'd like to see happen following this session is uh, another set of meetings in which um, uh, under our capable chair and uh, with all participating states uh, uh, contributing, a, a, a discussion about sp uh, specific actions in the energy field to create more know-how, to increase transparency, um, to improve governance uh, around energy markets. If energy markets function efficiently, uh, based on better information that's available to all stakeholders, then that can contribute to security. And the OSCE is, again, uniquely positioned to do that because unlike other international institutions, it has the freedom to invite civil society, it has the freedom to invite business, and uh, all these, these energy challenges and these governance challenges are systemic in nature, which means that they can't be solved by government alone, by business alone, or by civil society alone. Everybody needs to be at the table, and only really the OSCE can do that on an ongoing basis. And we, so therefore, we very much look forward to what the proceedings uh, will, will hold for us over the coming year.